I love listening to crinkly paper. It just makes me happy. This is the new window pane journal and it's full of crinkly paper. Well, actually, it's not crinkly when it arrives. When you get it, it'll be perfectly smooth. But as you use it, as you love it, it takes on, a, on its texture, on its extra life. It has a soft cover that you can redecorate if you like and is in the same vein, or its sister is, the Levitation Journal. So we have Levitation and the new window pane. And the reason that we have these two new journals is because they make the new inks, the Legends of the Sea, which are a sheening ink, and the Gods and Monsters set of inks, which are a gradiating and shading ink. They make these inks do magical things. So I've put some of my Legends of the Sea inks into these water brushes. So these are the ink brushes from my collection. This is a color called Ching Shi. And Ching Shi was a legendary female pirate from the South China Sea. She came from a family of pirates. She created more of a legacy of pirates. I think they saw themselves more as free people, but uh, <laughs> a lot of people did call them pirates uh, and see them as a little bit wicked. But we, uh, we, we, I don't know, why do we love pirates so much? Oh, they're pretty naughty people. They're fun to draw for a start. So as this ink goes down, you can see that it's a red ink. The more ink you put down, the more of this effect you're going to get. Now, this is a fountain pen ink, or you can use it with a dip pen, or you can also spray it. You can use it in a needle tip bottle. You can use it like I am with a brush pen. You can put it in a marker. I have the meet your marker type pens with a felt tip however you want to apply it straight from the bottle whatever you want to do but it'll look red as it's going down and then as it dries you'll start to see the sheen come to the surface and each of the colors there's eight different colors in the legends of the sea set they all have different sheening properties and a different base color these very high quality inks are made by one of the oldest fountain pen ink makers in the world. And I've had a lot of fun working on these fabulous Legends of the Sea inks. And they go perfectly with the paper from the new window pane journal. So let's have a look at these inks in action. And let's have a look at this paper in action and some of the fun things that you can do with it. You can use any art supply on it. It will get that lovely crinkle effect. And the more water or liquid that's put on it, the more crinkling you'll get, the longer it'll take to dry. But that does relax out and you just get this wonderful, uh, beautiful layered look. But the paper is drafting film or vellum or sulfuric acid paper. These are all names for the same sort of thing. And you can trace through it. This is what <laughs> you're probably used to seeing it as. And let's just use it as this. Tracing an image is a wonderful way to learn something new. So I'm actually using alcohol markers here, something I haven't used in ages, to be honest. I have a lot to choose from and they're not on my desk so I forget that they're there but they're sitting there. I've had some of my alcohol markers since I was oh a whippersnapper. I've had them forever and ever because I used them when I was doing fashion illustration on drafting film or vellum or window pane paper as we have now. So I'm just layering up the light colours and as you can see the inks from alcohol markers are very translucent. I'm also using uh, some of my own alcohol markers, which are the smooth markers. You can't get them anymore, but lots and lots of you have them. And they've got all the beautiful soft portrait colors that you can use. So I'm just looking at the image that's underneath, looking for contrast, shadows. Um, because I'm using different brands of alcohol marker, I am getting some streaking as I'm going, which I really like but you might not like that so just be aware um, because the, every 
every manufacturer, every maker has a slightly different way, a slightly different formula of how they do things. And sometimes they're not compatible, I guess. Well, you know, like to make a smooth gradient. Another lovely thing to use on the window pane paper, mm, coloured pencil. So I'm going to start introducing my magic wands in the skincare collection set, which is 24 beautiful neutral colours that you can use as portraits colors and you can see how the pencil stands out and on the uh, right hand sorry left hand side of the page where I've used the same process I've got the alcohol markers underneath and then using the colored pencil uh, just to bring out specific details I just it looks nice together and it's lovely using these things on the window pane paper because it makes the alcohol markers behave a little differently and also the pencils, they're just smoother, but they work nicely together, layering them one over the other as well. So I'm just flipping that, the, pa the paper, back and forth so that I can see the image underneath because as I add art supplies on top, it is masking what is going on under and I just need to check and always looking at my reference to see what can I learn about the human face from that. I'm using creams and whites to bring up highlighted details and then I can also soften the pencil, melt it basically, with alcohol markers. So alcohol markers melt <laughs> coloured pencil. Uh, so you can use it to shape the coloured pencil, you can use it to erase it in parts and um, turn it into a paint. I've added a little bit of tattoo ink in one of the fountain pens with a rollable tip uh, for the eyelashes for now, just to give that some depth. And now I'm using some of the Legends of the Sea ink. So eight of the machining inks, four of them are the Gods and Monsters formula. So we have Leviathan, Moby Dick, the Sirens and Kraken. I'm also going to add in a little bit of Aphrodite and some other colors from the Gods and Monsters inks because they're just these nice soft colors which are going to suit the portrait colors as well. Well that's what I felt at the time. And the brush tips oh they just give such variety and if you can see how the paper the window pane paper it wrinkles up when it's wet but then it'll relax back out. It's also lovely with the candy dipper ink, which I'll show you again later, and the velvet pastels. Um, and beautiful with the marzipan markers. So those three things act similarly. Slightly different formulas, different application applicators. So they turn out different, but they look lovely. And you can actually apply palette pastel uh, with them onto this type of paper as well, because the palette pastels are so finely milled. They, they're just, just a lovely light little bit of color. I just wanted to have a little bit of color from the cheeks going up into the hair like that. I'm adding a little bit of Candy Dipper, which is the mini paint that has its own brush. And this is the color called Snow Cube, just to add full on highlights. I'm having a look again at my image just to make sure I captured the essence of it. The reason that I pulled this image from a magazine and kept it for years and years and years and uh, on a trip to Europe I think I, I picked this uh, magazine up in Singapore and it's an older Vogue magazine. The photography is just gorgeous and it's just brilliant to learn from and I, I feel this is a really good training and learning exercise. Now there is copyright that exists around using existing material. Uh, I'm not sell going to be selling this piece that I'm showing you. This is for learning and it's fine if you do that as well, if you're using it for your own learning and you're changing it. So I took the page out uh, at a certain point and I might refer to it from time to time, but I, it's then time to make this my own and this becomes a human face not that particular model's face so take it into my own imagination so i consider this a work in progress but i really wanted to share this technique with you and of course this fabulous new journal all of the new inks 
And it's just so wonderful how it layers. So I could add white paint to the back of this or gold or another color to help it stand out or to block pages being showing through. Or on the next page, whatever I create could be made to enhance what is happening here. On the uh, page to the left, I could decide to put paint on the back of that page, like one of the Joyful Gesso, for instance, so that I don't see her and maybe just leave the eyes of the cat and the, and the lady. There's just so much fun to be had with these art supplies. You can find everything that I've shown you at janedovenport.com where there's tons of free content and all sorts of other surprises.